Greetings fellow explorers and welcome back to Cartography and Geography Club, where we're about to embark on a wild adventure through the tropical nation of Haiti. Get ready to discover its major cities, population distribution, migration patterns, and its vibrant culture that's as colorful as a parrot in a paint factory. And hey, if you're feeling extra adventurous, why not whip up your own map and send it our way for a chance to win some epic prize packs this season. Just make sure your map doesn't lead us straight into a coconut tree maze. Check out techassemble.tech for all the juicy details. So without further ado, let's plunge headfirst into this Caribbean adventure. Let's first explore some of the major cities that make Haiti so interesting. The heart of Haiti lies in its capital city, Port-au-Prince. This city was once a bustling metropolis teeming with over 2 million people. With a mix of historic architecture and vibrant street life, Port-au-Prince offered you visitors a unique blend of traditional culture and urban living. Today though, Port-au-Prince grapples with severe challenges. Gang violence has triggered a mass exodus with over 53,000 residents fleeing in the month of April 2024. Armed groups control 80% of the city, perpetuating violence and targeting vital infrastructure like the International Airport and the State University of Haiti. This violence exacerbates an already dire humanitarian crisis with poverty and famine threatening lives. Gang disruption of the nation's largest port further exacerbates food scarcity. Displaced residents, over 60% of whom head to rural, rural southern Haiti, strain already limited resources in those areas. The impact is staggering, with over 1,500 deaths reported and 17,000 rendered homeless. This reality starkly contrasts with the city's historic charm and lively streets, presenting a complex and challenging en environment for residents and visitors alike. Beyond Port-au-Prince, Haiti boasts several other major cities, including Cap Haitan in the north, known for its colonial charm, and Jacmel in the south, famous for its arts and crafts. Cap Haitan, known as the City of Light, is situated on the northern coast of Haiti, across the Tiburon Peninsula from Port-au-Prince. Originally founded by the Spanish in 1504, it was later repopulated by the French in 1698, and its indigenous Tano name was Yacamel. The town boasts well-preserved gingerbread houses built in the early 19th century, characterized by intricate details and in, in ornate balconies. In 1925, Capitan became the first place in the Caribbean to have electricity, earning its nickname. On a positive note, as Port-au-Prince faces challenges due to powerful gangs, Capitan has seen an influx of business owners, parents, and historic state ceremonies, positioning it as a po potential de facto capital in Haiti until order can be restored in Port-au-Prince. Now let's cover Jacmel. Jacmel is located on the southern coast of Haiti and was renowned as the cultural hub of the country. It was a central center for art, folklore, food, festivals, and nightlife. Colorful paper mache creations that were often seen during Jacmel's annual carnival were available year round. The city's art and mass reflected the, the potent symbology of Haitian voodoo adding a unique spiritual heritage to its streets. Jacmel is compact and easily walkable. For outdoor enthusiasts, Jacmel offered proximity to exciting adventures in the local area, featuring caves, waterfalls, jungle paths, and mountain air. Additionally, visitors could relax on stunning beaches and enjoy freshly caught seafood and the sun. Jacmel's blend of culture, nature, and creativity made it a captivating destination for travelers seeking tranquility and adventure. These rich culture and ecological areas will be critical as the country gets out of crisis. Today though, Jacmel, a city with a population of over 41,000, has encountered significant challenges in the wake of the Haitian crisis. Following the devastating 2010 earthquake, 
which resulted in hundreds of deaths and injuries in Jockmouth, thousands of residents were displaced as their homes were destroyed. At the height of the emergency, upward of 10,000 people, approximately 2,000 families, found themselves homeless, necessitating the establishment of 36 displacement camps in Jockmouth. Efforts have since been undertaken to rehouse families and close these camps. Impact of the displacement crisis has rippled through Jockmel's vital tourism sector, exacerbating the suffering of those in the camps and hindering revitalization efforts, especially in light of the earthquake's damage to key infrastructure like the town hall. Additionally, the broader Haitian crisis marked by violence, hunger, and political instability has had profound ramifications for Jockmel. Armed groups, militias, and former police officers have seized control of a significant portion of the city, leading to a surge in violence. In summary, all three cities continue to grapple with challenges stemmed from displacement, economic setbacks, and broader crisis plaguing Haiti. While efforts persist to rebuild and improve the situation, the impact remains substantial, necessitating ongoing support and intervention. Migration patterns in Haiti have been shaped by various factors including economic opportunities, political instability, and environmental challenges. Historically, rural to urban migration has been significant, with people moving from rural areas to cities like Port-au-Prince in search of livelihoods and better living conditions. Additionally, there have been migrations between Haiti and neighboring countries, particularly the Dominican Republic driven by economic opportunities and social ties. As you could probably guess, migration patterns within Haiti have been dr drastically affected by the crisis, where once opportunities with the, in the city drew large population from the rural areas, the exact opposite is occurring now. The ongoing crisis in Haiti has inflicted a massive and devastating toll on the population, particularly those in urban areas. Approximately 90,200 people are currently displaced in, to rural areas in the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area alone due to escalating violence and insecurity, with this number continuing to climb. This has put a significant strain on the rural areas that were in decline prior to the earthquake and gang crisis. Food insecurity and malnutrition have reached alarming levels, with over half the population in Haiti facing acute food insecurity and approximately 5 million people grappling with hunger. Malnutrition is increasingly prevalent among young children, and a staggering 45% of Haitians lack access to clean water, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis. Healthcare facilities already strained by the crisis are grappling with serious shortages particularly in hospitals, while UN-backed flights have delivered some life-saving supplies, the closure of the airport to commercial traffic has impeded the importation of essential medicines and further compounded healthcare challenges. The urgent need for a comprehensive humanitarian response is starkly evident, with approximately 1.4 million Haitians teetering on the brink of famine. Haiti has also experienced emigration, with many Haitians seeking opportunities abroad in search of better economic prospects and political stability. Popular destinations for Haitian emigrants include the United States, Canada, and South America. This has been significantly more difficult with the ongoing crisis disrupting shipping ports and airports. International efforts to address the Haiti crisis encompass a wide range of initiatives aimed at restoring security, rule of law, and access to essential services crucial for overcoming the human rights crisis in the country. The Caribbean Community, or CARICOM leaders, Haitian political party representatives, and civil society members have been engaged in discussions regarding Haiti's future, signaling a collaborative approach to addressing the crisis. Additionally, a commitment has been made to establish a transitional presidential council tasked with appointing a new prime minister, coordinating with international partners and organizing elections, providing a framework for political stability and transition. 
Plans for a multinational security support mission authorized by the UN Security Council are underway. However, significant funding shortfalls po pose a challenge to its implementation. The United States has outlined a comprehensive 10-year strategy aimed at preventing conflict and promoting stability in Haiti from 2022 to 2032, emphasizing long-term solutions to the country's challenges. In addition, the government of Haiti and the humanitarian community have launched a humanitarian response plan requiring 674 million US dollars to assist 3.6 million people in 2024, underscoring the urgent need for international support to address the humanitarian crisis gripping the nation. These collective measures reflect a concerted effort by the international community to support Haiti in overcoming its multifaceted challenges in building a more stable and prosperous future. On a more upbeat note, Haiti's age demographics are characterized by a young population with a significant portion under the age of 25. The country has a high fertility rate and a youthful demographic pyramid, with a growing labor force and potential for economic growth. However, Haiti also faces challenges related to youth unemployment, education, and healthcare, which require targeted policies and investments to address. Haiti's culture is a vibrant mixture of traditions, beliefs, and customs that have evolved over centuries. Influenced by African, indigenous, and French colonial heritage, Haitian culture is diverse and resilient. Traditional Haitian arts such as music, dance, and voodoo ceremonies reflect the country's rich cultural heritage and spiritual tradition. Cuisine is also an integral part of Haitian culture, known for its bold flavors, tropical ingredients, and diverse regional dishes like griot, rice and beans, and picklets. Haitian festivals and celebrations such as Carnival and Haitian Independence Day are celebrated with passion and creativity, showcasing the country's cultural richness and community spirit. Additionally, the concept of Lacau, community courtyard, is central to Haitian culture, emphasizing the importance of family, solidarity, and mutual support. Overall, Haiti's culture is a vibrant expression of resilience, creativity, and collective identity. As we conclude our exploration of Haiti, we're saddened by the current crisis gripping the country, but are encouraged by the opportunities that lie in front of the damaged country. I can't wait to dive into other aspects of the country over the rest of the month. Thank you for joining me today, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our Patreon for bonus material on all these subjects. Have a great week, and don't forget to never stop learning.